Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. After a little interjection in the last two videos of announcing my August no buy plans and my last project pan update, I am back today with another update from my quarter to six months, halfway through the year updates of my inventories. Nothing like halfway through August to be going back to that. Anyway, today we're going through my skincare, so what I have used up during quarter two, what I brought in during quarter two, and how I'm doing with my goals. So, little assessment of where we're sitting, where we've got to go, and see if there's any changes I need to make, any plans I need to put in place, anything like that to get us on the track that I want to be on if I'm not already on it. So yeah, let's get on into it. First of all, let's talk about what I used up. So if you want to know the products in detail, I have posted my quarter two empties video. I will link that up in the eye for you if you want to go catch up and see what these empties consisted of. But in terms of the totals, I used up 33 items. Value of what I used up was worth $658.66 out of my inventory. In terms of declutters, I haven't decluttered anything. To then go on to what I brought in. I did bring in quite a few products in quarter two for my skincare inventory. So I brought in 14 products. Quantity wise, I added in 14, I used up 33, and that has left my quantity total at 173 for the end of quarter two. Where it gets interesting is the values. So what I added in, so bearing in mind I added in 14 and used up 33, so I brought in less than half of what I actually used up. But what I added in value-wise across those 14 products was $696.60. So that's what those products were worth. What I used up, as I just said, was $658.66. So actually my value for the end of quarter two has increased. The value at the end of quarter two is $4,479.22. The total at the start of quarter two was $4,441.28. So it's not a huge increase, but it is an increase for significantly less product. So let me go into the details of what I brought in and you'll see how this has come about. So the first thing I actually brought in was a replacement. It was an essence from Estee Lauder and this was a direct replacement for my Kiehl's Iris Essence. So that was in my quarter two empties. So this came in and this was worth $76. The next two things that I brought in were also replacements. So Estee Lauder again, my advanced night repair serum. Again, I had finished this, I wanted to replace it. So I got this. And the second serum that I got was my Kiehl's Hydro Clump Serum. I have been repurchasing this since 2015, I think. I am super, well, actually, to be honest, I've been repurchasing Essie Lauder Advanced Night Repair since before 2015. These are two serums I am very, very loyal to. So those two came in, and what these were worth, the Hydro Plump from Kiehl's was worth $82, and my Essie Lauder Advanced Night Repair was worth $125. So, where this gets interesting, you will have noticed the Essence and the Serum, both by Estee Lauder. The Essence was actually replacing my Kiehl's Essence and I probably will, at the end of using up this Estee Lauder one, go back to the Kiehl's one because I do think that does a bit more for my skin. However, I needed to replace my Advanced Night Repair and my Essence and just as I was about to do that, I got a text from Estee Lauder with a special offer and the special offer was this box of products. So this usually retails for £220. Now it was on the Estee Lauder website but it is, does actually say upon arrival that it's a travel exclusive and the, the writing in the back is all Chinese. So I am imagining this is like a set that they've had to start getting rid of. It's not sold probably because of Covid and all of that kind of reducing travel over the last couple of years. So I suspect they've probably got a sort of certain lifespan that they can only sell batches in before having to write them off. So I suspect this is them getting rid of old stock. But this was on the S Order website for £220, but I got a text in June offering this for £110. So by the time I would have replaced my Essence and my Advanced Night Repair Serum, that would have added up to over £110 on its own. So getting this set that had an Essence and the Serum in it, plus a bunch of other stuff, was an absolute no-brainer, let's be totally honest. So this is where quite a lot of the value comes from. First of all, you did get a cleanser. I've had this cleanser before and I haven't loved it, so I've actually just put this cleanser straight into the Beauty Banks donation box. 
so I'm not keeping the cleanser. Didn't, didn't bring that in, it's not in my inventory. We just acted like that wasn't there. But as I said, these two items on their own would have been more than the £110. So it didn't really matter that I wasn't going to get the use of the cleanser. But also I got the moisturiser, the eye cream and four sheet masks in this box. So in terms of those values, the sheet masks were worth $99, the eye cream was worth $74 and the moisturiser was worth $120. So as you can see, although this box cost £110, it has added on significantly more than that in value to my inventory. Although it looks like my value, but well, although my value is higher, it doesn't look like it's higher, it is higher in terms of what the products that I've brought in this month have been worth. So much of that has come from this and that's the worth is not actually reflective of what I've spent and I think that's why I think you need to go between so this year I've got quantity goals in place rather than value goals next year I actually think I might do another quantity goal I think I might do two years of quantity goals and do a values goal the year after I think the values goal does encourage me to reach for the more expensive products in my collection because you want to hit that target but quantity I think is actually far more reflective of what you're actually using because the value can be really misleading as a case in point with this where the value of all these products on my inventory is not actually what I spent but they are all the quantity that they are. Does that make sense? I know people will probably ask why I don't kind of look at the value of this and divide it by the total number of products to get a value for each product that's more reflective of what I paid but I think when I am um, by the time I use a product up and come to emptying it I probably don't off the top of my head when I'm assessing them or telling you guys about them and whether I would repurchase them or not remember what I've got in a special offer you know it's, it's not going to happen so if I keep the values relevant to what you'd actually pay for them relevant to what the product is actually worth what the RRP is that's much more indicative when I come to the end of a product of me saying whether it's something I would repurchase or not. Whereas if I had this and said, you know, so what, what did I keep? One, two, three, four, and then I had four sheet masks. So eight products, so say the, eight, the 110 divided by eight products gives a value of what? So $10 each would be 80, there's an extra 30 there. It's 24, 40, it's 32. So for simplicity's sake, let's say $14. Obviously, it would actually be slightly under that, it'd be $13 something. But let's say $14. Like, I'm obviously going to tell you I would repurchase this for $14. Of course I would. What I would repurchase for $14, thinking it was worth that, is different to what I would repurchase for $125, which is what the Advanced Night Repair um, retails for which actually I would repurchase this have several times as I said but I probably wouldn't repurchase the essence being $76 do you know what I mean like that's I prefer the Kiehl's one and their price point wise the Kiehl's one's actually worth less money and I know I prefer that over this one but if I was like oh well this one's only $14 obviously then I would repurchase this does that make sense so that's why I do keep it to what the worth is rather than what I have paid but that's why I think quantity is more important Overall, I do think you need to try both, especially if you are looking to go on a no buy or to really cap your spending. For me, the value gave me the fright. When I first did my first inventory, looking at it and going, my collection of beauty stuff is worth like $30,000. That's terrifying. That could have been a deposit on a house. You know, like that, that was the reality when I did my first ever inventory back in 2018. That gave me the absolute fright that I needed to go, I'm not happy that that's what that collection is worth, that that's an indicator of what I have probably spent over a number of years because obviously there's going to be things that I've used up that were never in that first inventory and it, it definitely gave me the fright about my beauty spending it and what in my lifetime that was going to add up to look like and was I happy with that or not, which I was not, that's why I do what I do now where I track it and I'm tracking my empties and I track what I bring in. So I do think the value is so, so worth it from that point of view particularly. If you need to give yourself the motivation to cut your spending, look at what it's worth, look at what you've spent already and think about what else that money could have been. So I do think the value is important. It's not that I'm saying it's not, 
but I think once you're into it where you're tracking your spending and where you are spending somewhere that you're far more comfortable spending the the quantity for me so much of the issue is the amount of space even still like several years down the line that my beauty collection takes up especially when it's not products like this but it's products that are minis like they just rattle around they get lost at the back of drawers you know they take up so much space whilst feeling insubstantial in a lot of ways i think for me in time now quantity has started to be more important overall but I do think value is still very important to track and to look at but yeah so this box is where the majority of the additions for this month value wise have come from I do on top of that box though have a couple of extra things I added in first of all I've got two products from Elemis I didn't pay for these my gran was actually buying things I was just with her and the sales assistant gave us a couple of extras each which was lovely first of all I've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Night Cream, a little 15ml mini. This is worth $66. See, this this is what I mean about the value being worth spending because if the 15ml is worth $66, what is the full size worth? And do you want to spend that in a moisturiser? Do you know what I mean? Absolutely not. But again, $66 has come in from this. I didn't spend a penny to get it. And the other thing that has come in from Elemis is just a little sample. So the mini that she's given us is the night cream the sashi sample that i've got here is the day cream so that's worth one dollar and an item of one quantity wise obviously i got a new spf so this was from the inky list this is an spf 30 and it's worth 15 dollars i actually nearly finished this so if you guys can see there this is the polyglutamic acid dewy sunscreen spf 50. It was in a very small boots i needed sunscreen this was kind of the best of what they had i was slightly concerned because this says dewy sunscreen and i am a super oily person that it was going to be far too dewy for me but actually it's really nice if you're looking for a budget friendly sunscreen would definitely recommend this one the last two products are also things that i didn't actually pay for they are things that i found so i did say at the start of this year I usually take the time to like pull everything out of every drawer and nook and cranny that it's got into and count it all from scratch. I didn't have time to do that at the start of this year so I did say right back at the beginning that I was probably going to end up adding things in this year as I came across them. The first of the last two products, Garnier Over Makeup SPF 50 Spray. So I must have got this at some point last year. It's worth $8.60. This for me doesn't replace the sunscreen that I just showed you that I would put on as part of my skincare routine. But I do like to have one of these for topping up with during the day, especially obviously we're just going through the summer months or the pastiche of summer that we get here in Scotland. Have been using this, which is why I kind of realized it wasn't on my inventory. So $8.60. And the last thing to add in is this little mini. I finished my Sizzly Black Rose Mask and it was when I was taking that off my inventory that I realised I had this little mini that I'd started using once I'd finished the full size. And when I was taking the full size off the inventory, I realised this one wasn't listed because they'd have been next to each other. So I had to add this one on. So this is a little 10ml sample and it's worth $30. So again, something I didn't actually pay for but that has added a fairly significant chunk to my inventory. In total, just to put this into perspective, what I actually spent during quarter two was £110 on this, £66 on this, and I actually don't even think I spent that. That is the RRP of this Kiehl's serum, but I'm sure that I bought this from Harrods when there was like a 10% discount or something. But anyway, let's just say for simplicity's sake, because I can't be bothered finding the email that I paid the RRP of 66 that would be £176 and this is £15 so that would be £180, £191. So what I actually spent was £191. What I actually got added in was $696.60 so near enough $700 basically, a couple of dollars short of $700. So there is a real dichotomy between what's actually been spent and what the value of what I've brought in is. So that's why I think I'm, I'm just not too fussed and I brought in 14 items, I used up 33, and of what I brought in, the essence I've started using straight away, that's the direct replacement. I don't know if I'll finish that within this year, but I know that, that it's not something that's going to kick about in my collection for ages. I've not brought something in that I'm not using. The two serums, again, I'm already using them. They will probably be done within this year. The two SBFs that get added on, the inky list one I've actually basically finished. It's cut open, so, I know that's going to be in my quarter three empties, no problem at all. 
and the spray I think is a slightly different thing. I could probably finish it this year but I'm probably not going to be as diligent with it during the winter months but again it's the only thing of its kind in my collection so I'm not too worried about it. It's not going to kick about unused as a backup whilst I have to use other products. It's the only spray that I've got. I've got the two moisturisers so the Estee Lauder one I have started using that. As I said, because the box was a travel set, I suspect it's very old stock, so I have kind of prioritised it. I've started using most of those things straight away. So I've started using that night cream and I expect that will be done within this year as well. However, I might actually put it on hold to get the Elemis one out, given that's only 15 mils of product. Um, I'm sure I could knock that out fairly quickly and go back to the Estee Lauder one. But either way, I suspect both of them will be done within this year so it's not that I've brought them in to add them on to kick around for ages. The Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream, again I've started using that already as my nighttime eye cream. The Black Rose Mask, that I think could be done by the end of this month, I'm fairly sure that will be in my quarter three empties too. The Sachet I will probably use tomorrow morning now that I've shown you it, get that into my quarter three empties as well. And then I've got the four sheet masks which I'll probably keep them till near Christmas because they're quite expensive sheet masks, $99 for four so they are up market sheet masks so I'll probably keep them for using before Christmas parties and things like that. There's not a whole load of going out planned between kind of now and the Christmas things kicking off so I think I'll probably keep them towards the end of the year but again if I wanted to I could absolutely have them finished within this year no problem so everything that I've brought in serves a purpose. I've not brought anything in that's just going to languish in my collection for a long time so I'm feeling totally fine basically is what I'm saying. So that is the empties, the additions and there was no declutters at all so that's that all ticked off and covered. This has been a really long video so far so sorry about that. So the last section, this shouldn't take too long, is just reflecting on my goals and where I am with the category specific goals that I've got. So the first category goal that I've got is face makeup removers. I had eight at the start of the year my goal is to reduce that to five, so a total reduction of three. In quarter one, I used up two and ended that quarter with six. I didn't use up any in quarter two, so we're still sitting at six, and I'm not worried. I'm definitely going to be able to finish at least one. I think there might actually be two in my quarter three empties, so I'm not concerned at all about that category. For cleansers, I opened with 20. My goal is to hit 15, so a total reduction of five. In quarter one, I used up two and ended that quarter at 18. And in quarter two, I used up one. So I've got that down to 17, so two more cleansers to go and I will hit my goal. One per quarter for quarter three and quarter four. Not at all worried about that. Serums, I opened with 12. My goal is to get that down to five. So a total reduction of seven. In quarter one, I used up five. So I ended that quarter with eight. In quarter two, I used up two, but I did replace them both. So we are still at eight. So I've still got another three to reduce by. I'm not too worried. Again, I think my quarter three empties there will be at least one if not two serums so I'm not at all fussed. A uh, quarter four will definitely have another one so we will hit that goal by the end of the year. I'm not concerned. Oil, I opened with seven. My goal is to get that down to four so a total reduction of three again. In quarter one I used up two which left me with five to start the quarter with. I didn't use up any in quarter two, however there is one that I'm working on. Whether I'll get it in quarter three or not, I'm not 100% sure, but it'll definitely, I will get at least one more out by the end of this year, um, and possibly two. There's two minis that I've got that are in my box at the moment, so yeah, I just need to think about them a little bit more, but I'm fairly sure by the end of the year they will be out, but I'm going to definitely aim to have at least one in my quarter three empties, and if I get one, that's my year goal hit. If I get to, that's my year goal exceeded. So really happy with either of those options. For retinols, I started with five. My goal is to get that down to two. So that's a total reduction of three again. However, not any movement here. So I didn't use up any in quarter one. So still had five at the end of quarter one. And I didn't use up any in quarter two. So we're still sitting at five. This is a category I need to put a bit of a push on. I do get a bit sort of wary of using them during the summer months just because we've got that little bit more sunshine. Um, however, there is one that I am very nearly finished. So I do think there will be at least one in my quarter three empties and hopefully two more minis by the end of quarter four. So fingers crossed we'll still hit the three. But again, along with oil, that's a category that I need to be a bit more aware of. And that's why I do the quarterly check-in because if that went right to the end of the year without me really reflecting on the fact those categories weren't moving, I'd probably be starting next year with the same number that I've had this year. So 
that's why I decided this year to start the quarterlies and yeah so oil and retinol that's my two categories so far that I go away from this video knowing that I need to concentrate on. Eye creams I opened with 20 my goal is to get that down to 5 so that's a reduction of 15. It's a slightly misleading category name because it's basically all, all eye products so I've got a lot of like single use eye masks and things in there as well. In quarter one I used up four and had 16 at the end. In quarter two I used up two, I obviously added the Estee Lauder one in so that takes me to 15. So I do need to try and aim for five in quarter three and five in quarter four to get the reduction of 15 down, get it down to five by the end of the year. But again, I'm not too worried about that, especially as I get closer to Christmas and there's more events and things. I'll probably reach for those under eye patches quite a lot during that kind of season, so I think it'll be fine. Moisturiser, I opened with 18, my goal is to get that down to 9. In quarter 1, I used up 3 and that got me 15 by the end of quarter 1. In quarter 2, I used up 5, however, I obviously did bring 2 in, so we're currently at 12. So as long as I use up another 3 by the end of the year, I will hit my goal and I don't foresee an issue with that. I've got the Elemis one that I brought in obviously in this quarter, that's a mini. I'm fairly sure I can finish that quite quickly. The Estee Lauder one is a 75ml full size so that's probably going to be the majority of the, the time between now and the end of the year that I'll spend using that up. Um, but I'm sure I can knock out another mini as well so I'm not too worried. I think my moisturiser will be fine. For face masks, I opened with 27 and I want to get that down to 15, so that's a total reduction of 12. In quarter one, I used up one and got that down to 26. In quarter two, I used up five, but I brought in that sizzly one that I had to add in, so that has taken me down to 22. So 22 is where we currently are, the aim is to get down to 12, so again, I need to go for five in each of these quarters. So that's another category that I need to make sure to concentrate on because I'm not going to use five without thinking about it. So oils, retinols and face masks, definitely all need flagged. Body wash, I opened with seven, the aim is to get that down to three. I used up two in quarter one, which took me down to five and I used up one in quarter two, which has taken me down to four. So I only need to use up one more and I've got down to my goal of three. So I'm not worried about that category. Body moisturizer, I opened with 17. My goal is to get that down to nine. In quarter one I used up two which took me down to 15. In quarter two I used up three that has taken me down to 12. So I've got three more to use and I'll hit the goal. So I'm aiming to make that as one in quarter three and then two in quarter four. Out with that I am also trying to use up a body oil that's on my perfume inventory rather than on my skincare inventory because it is a perfumed product as opposed to just a purely moisturising product. So if I can use that in quarter three as well as one body moisturiser. I think that's a bit more realistic than aiming to use two in quarter three. So as long as I get one out this quarter, I will be happy with that and that leaves me two to use up in quarter four. Last specific product is hand products. I have opened with seven. My goal is to get that down to two, so a total reduction of five. I think that might have been a little bit ambitious. I didn't use up any in quarter one and I used up one in quarter two. So I'm currently sitting with six hand products so I would need to use up another four between now and the end of the year. I do have a hand cream in my five before fall project pan. I think I will, if I don't hit that by the end of the project, I think I will hit it by the end of the month after the project. So I do think that will be out. And I have a hand cream that I've been working on before I started that project that I think I can go back to and hopefully knock out quite quickly. So I think those two should hopefully be realistic and I'll probably put a hand cream in my 12 pans of Christmas. So. I think I'll probably get another three. I don't think I'm going to hit the overall total goal, but I think we'll just be one short, which I think at this point in the year, might just need to settle for. So that's where we are with hand creams. Overall, for my total quantity goal, I opened this year with 223 products in my inventory. My goal is to get that down to 150 or less. So that's a total reduction of 73 items. At the end of quarter one, I had taken it down to 192 items. In quarter two, I obviously used up 33, but I brought in 14. So my new total is 173 items, making up my skincare inventory. So I have 23 items that I need to finish by the end of the year to reduce that to 150 or less, ideally. 
and I'm not worried about that. I think that'll happen without too much of a fuss. So as long as I stay on track with the goals for the individual categories and then there are things that I will finish organically in my skincare. You know, skincare is always my biggest category for my empties at the end of every month. So I'm not too worried about my skincare. I feel like my skincare and my hair care inventories are ones that are not necessarily completely within control at the moment, but very close to that point. So I feel okay about where we are for the skincare inventory at the end of the quarter two check-in. So yeah, a couple of goals for quarter three. So face masks, retinols, facial oils, all things I need to make sure to concentrate on. A couple of empties goals to try and hit by quarter three, but I do think it's all quite doable. So that is everything for this update. Thank you so much for watching it. I know it's been a long one and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.